Hey, it's Emily Jane. Um, and today is going to be one of those just me talking videos. So this video is about the path that I've taken to sink into the procrastination hole that is YouTube. And I also have a Tumblr, which doesn't really help at all with the, the press procrastination. Um, but right now it's YouTube that's just killing me and it's been so bad lately that I just, I had to share. I think I was tweeting about it. But I, I wanted a chance to fully explain. So, what I mean by a path that goes through YouTube, it means like when I find one YouTuber, which is all how it really started, and I watched all of his videos. All of them. And in that process, he was collaborating with other YouTubers, and so I started watching. I was like, oh, let me go check out their video, and watched all of their videos, and then did it again. And again, and you just, oh, and sometimes you find one and you're like, mm, not so sure about that one. But every once in a while you find one, you completely fall in love, you watch all their videos, then you find more and more and more. So this, I made, <laughs> it was getting so bad that I made a little, a little chart about, um, who, where I started from and how I got to where I am now, subscribed to so many freaking people. So it really all started with Alex Day or Naramon. They're pretty much all British, just like as a preparatory statement. Um, Alex Day, Naramon, actually kind of one of the like original like YouTube royalty and I started with him and I watched every single thing that he did and that leads to an obvious one because he's roommates with Charlie. Charlie's so cool like and he was featured in a lot of his videos and stuff but Alex also led me to Tom Milsom who is one of those ones that I fell in love with. So I've seen every single one of Alex's videos and Charlie's because Charlie's amazing and a sweetheart. Um, and then I've seen most of Tom's videos. Uh, Tom Milsom is hexacordal. Um, you know, some not, not all of them. And then um, that's most of Sons of Admirals. And then there's Ed Plant, who I watched a little bit, but never really got into that so and then also from Alex one of the bigger ones is Carrie oh we'll get there wait so Charlie led me to John Green which led me to reading some of the best books of my life if you haven't read John Green you should read John Green and John and his brother Hank have the vlog brothers which is a really good channel and they also have one that's for like teaching and it's so much fun they're just brilliant brilliant men but then Alex also led me to Carrie who is, it's way past my d bedtime, and I'm a hopeful, which is really interesting because, um, Carrie's one of the only, there's uh, probably two female YouTubers that I've just loved and watched every one of their videos. Normally I like my men really cute and sweet, but Carrie is amazing. She's an amazing singer. She's funny. She's a good person. She's sweet. It's amazing. So, she's fantastic. And then Alex also led me to Wota, which is World of the Orange, and those are two of the funniest, weirdest guys I've ever, I've ever seen do anything in my entire life, and that's, I'm on that right now, like, they're still so funny, and I've seen every one of Carrie's videos, and Carrie is, see, see, Carrie's there, and she leads to all of this, just all of these guys are from Carrie, so gee, thanks Carrie, but really, thank you, <laughs> um, so Carrie led me to Tom Law, who is, just so sweet, and his music's really good. A lot of these are for the music, too, a lot. Um, but, so Tom Law is a sweetheart, and I've seen most of his videos, and Tom led me to Doddle or Dodie, who's a really good female YouTuber, and I've seen a lot of her stuff. I don't like, I like, I like her because she's sweet, and she's in all these little videos, and her and Tom are super cute. Um, but Carrie also led me to Dan, Dan is not on fire. Which I can't believe I didn't come across before, you know, beautiful British men, why not, you know. And then Dan led me to Phil, amazing Phil, and, cause they're roommates, and they're hilarious and also really, like, attractive. But, um, I don't watch every single one of their videos, but I, I keep up moderately. Um, and then Dan and Phil led me to Jack and Finn, or Jack's Gap. Oh my god. They're some of the most beautiful human beings I've ever seen in my life. They shouldn't... Like, that's not fair that twins can... Uh, oh. If you like hot British twins, that is that is the place to go. Um, 
yeah, so I didn't watch all their videos. I watched, like, the really good ones. Um, but they're really attractive. And some girls at my school had, like, had posters of them up and stuff. And uh, I was like, eh, but once you watch them, it's just, it's the accents and the face. And then they led me to Casper, who I liked just because he's, like, South African, and there's something really interesting in his face. He's got a... He's a weirdo. But, um, I didn't watch all of his videos at all, but I watched a couple, and he's just really freaking weird, which is fun. And he led me to my new current favorite, who's Alfie, his roommate. Alfie's... Yeah, Alfie's the one that... Whew! Oh, he's so, so sweet, and he does really cute things for his followers, and he's just... I'm watching, I'm in the process of watching all of his videos. This is why I haven't done anything other than YouTube in like the past couple of days. Is Alfie. And then Alfie led me to another reason why I haven't been doing anything in the last couple of days. Which is Sam Pepper. Who I didn't like because like I thought his voice was a little grating. But he's really, 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 really grown on me. He's, he's a prank guy. So I watched some of them. Some of them are good. He seems like the one, like, in the group. He takes all the little good British boys and then makes them do these crazy things. And he's, like, that friend that does the most awesome things and is going to have the most incredible things to tell, like, his grandchildren or whatever. And he's so attractive. He's all, like, muscled and tattooed and ah, British. And right now he's in L.A. or he moved to L.A. And he came to San Francisco, which is where I live. <sighs> but I just discovered him, like, two days after he left, so that's not very helpful. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much my, my British invasion. Like, that's all of this here, all the way down to Sam, um, who, Sam and Alfie, who are my newest. Oh, some of my favorites of them, is they, like, Sam and Alfie are friends, and, I mean, all of them are, like, they all know each other, and that's, that's also really fun, because they, like, talk about each other, and they feature each other in their videos and stuff. But Sam and Alfie do these amazing ones where they, like, get into, um, Union Jack, like, panties. And they get, like, a snap-on shirt and a snap-on pair of pants. And they're like, oh, will you take a picture of us? Three, two, one. And then they get naked. I, I would love it. And then Sam did this one where he was just making out with random people on Venice Beach. And I just, I just love him. He does the most incredible things. And he's one of those people that doesn't really have any inhibition. And <laughs> I love that. Because... I don't have a lot of inhibition about things, but, I mean, not that crazy, but, um, like, I just think it's really fun to be around. And then there's only, like, two American YouTubers which I watch, see, they're, they're all the way down here in the corner. I watch a little bit of Gentle Marbles, um, not, like, religiously or anything, and then Graveyard Girl, and I watch everything Graveyard Girl does, so Bunny, Bunny is fantastic, and she, I don't know, she's the only, like, like, again, she's a female YouTuber, and there's not very many of those on my list, and she's American, so it's like, whoa, and I found her through the accent tag, um, but yeah, ooh, that was longer than I thought it was gonna be, but, um, look, my first long video, uh, okay, yeah, great, thanks for listening to me ramble on, I just felt like I had to get it out of my head, and onto paper, and onto a video, and, um, yeah, thank you so much, bye.